Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map. Who do you want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and sub. We're trying to get to 2,000 subscribers. Hello everyone. It's your secondary host, President Ross. Today we are starting with Washington State with 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with 8 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska with 3 electoral votes is going red for Donald J. Trump. Hawaii with 4 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Montana with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. And Nevada a clear, according to realclearpolling.com, is currently a 0.4 lead for Kamala Harris. And she's going to bring this up real quick. Right there. A 0.4 lead for Kamala Harris. So Nevada will be shaded in blue for Kamala Harris with six electoral votes. Arizona is light pink, but we're going to make it red for easier understanding for Donald J. Trump. It has been flip-flopping back and forth this election season. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Utah with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Colorado with ten electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico with five electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada and the two districts of Nevada are red for Donald J. Trump with the third smallest district being blue for Kamala Harris. Kansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma with seven electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas with 40 electoral votes is currently red for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota with 10 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Now, Wisconsin. According to Real Clear Polling, Wisconsin has a 0.7 lead for Kamala Harris according to the chart. So we're going to make it blue for Kamala Harris. Iowa with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Missouri with 10 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Illinois with 19 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Michigan with 15 electoral votes, according to Real Clear Polling and 270toWin.com, Kamala Harris has a 1.8 lead in Michigan over Donald J. Trump, according to both charts on both websites. Bring up 270 to win really quick. And as you can see right there, it's slated as a battleground, but this is from September 16th. It is not from the last week. So going back to the chart, we are going to currently give Michigan to Kamala Harris blue, 15 electoral votes. Indiana with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio with 17 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky is red for Donald J. Trump with eight electoral votes. Tennessee with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Georgia, according to realclearpolling.com, Trump has a 2.2 lead in Georgia, which is huge. It is the most massive lead he has had in Georgia this election season. So that's going to be a big fat red for Donald J. Trump in Georgia with 16 electoral votes. Florida with 30 electoral votes is leaning heavily Donald J. Trump. South Carolina with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Now, North Carolina 
According to RealClearPolling.com, 16 electoral votes, Trump has a 0.6% lead in North Carolina. So we are going to make that red for Donald J. Trump in North Carolina. Virginia, with 13 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. West Virginia, with four electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. And Pennsylvania, according to RealClearPolling.com, this is a state that both of them need. Pennsylvania, Kamala Harris has a 0.6% lead over Donald J. Trump. It's been flip-flopping left and right. It was heavily blue. Now it's a super battleground state. It is imperative that both of them win this. So we're going to make it today blue for Kamala Harris, Pennsylvania. Maine is red for Donald J. Trump, and the rest are blue. New Hampshire, New Jersey, Vermont, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, and the rest of them are all blue for Kamala Harris. That will put Kamala Harris at 271 and Donald J. Trump at 260 currently with toss-ups of seven left over. Even with the seven, Donald J. Trump would lose the election today if it were held today and these polls were accurate and Kamala Harris would win by one. Tell us who you want to win in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe and tell your friends to watch and also, it is imperative that you get these videos out there. If you want a certain candidate to win, make sure you share it with your friends and let them know. What do you want, baby? Who do you want to win? I want Trump to win. And why? To make America great. That's awesome. I want nobody to win. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are... Out. Please welcome President Ronald Reagan, who has a few questions for you. All of you will go to the polls and we'll stand there in the polling place and make a decision. I think when you make that decision, it might be well if you would ask yourself, are you better off than you were four years ago? President Trump, he'll make America great again. As a border state prosecutor, she took on drug cartels and jailed gang members for smuggling weapons and drugs across the border. I'm Kamala Harris and I approve this message.